Hello and welcome back to some more Tales of the Abyss 3DS. Today we'll be exiting the abandoned factory and we're gonna jump into something interesting. Okay, if we lower the ladder there, we should be able to get outside. Yes, Master! Once we get out of here, it's on to Casadonia! Casadonia lies across the desert. There should be an oasis midway, so we'll stop there to rest. Guy, you head down first. Catch me if I slip. You're telling me to do that knowing full well that I can't, right? I need you to get over your phobia, or we'll have problems once Luke and I are married. Luke prefers much younger, cuter girls, don't you, Luke? You can call off that silly engagement anytime. Excuse me? What? <laughs> Luke, you're despicable. What? Like, this is my fault? <laughs> I have to agree with Luke this time. He really didn't do it's anything. Nice to see you all getting along so well. And of course, typical Jade. Are you blind? takes priority right now. I know! Aren't you the ladies' man? He looks like Luke, he sounds like Luke, this is kind of creepy. And Luke realizes that way too well. That wasn't just coincidence. He... he looks like me. What does this mean? By the way, they took Ion and left. Oh, I let them get away! Regardless, we've now encountered the six god generals. The decoy is a failure. Wouldn't we be better off returning to Batical and going by ship? It would be a waste of time. Why? Father still doesn't trust Malkuth. He'll have sealed the port against invasion once he dispatched the decoy. Let's go by land and search for Ion. If Ion were to die, it could affect this entire peace effort. That's right. Please, search for Ion, even if it's while you're doing something else. Please! It's your decision, Luke. Will we search for Ion as we go by land? Or will we turn over Natalia to his majesty and have him unseal the port? You can't do that. Luke, you know what I mean. Yeah, everyone shut up! Why am I the one deciding anyway? Well, you're the one in charge, aren't you? True story. You really are obnoxious. We go by land. We'll have all sorts of trouble if we don't take Natalia along. Ion, where could they have taken him? The land ship was headed east from here. That's the direction of the oasis. We were planning on stopping there too. Luke, you'll chase after them, won't you? Yeah. That guy who looked like me, they called him Ash. Man, that was creepy. Ash the Bloody, to be more precise. So after this incredible cuts cutscene, we're now kinda of middle of nowhere actually. What you wanna do is point the camera towards the east or some way towards the east and then start heading east. Ah something is chasing me. Ah You won't get me. At least I hope you won't. Please, please. And we're at a fork road. What you want to do is follow the road to the desert. You can easily see on the world map in the bottom screen that I'm gonna get attacked. <laughs> Actually, I couldn't, but whatever. That's a hypocrite. And of course, you have a surprise account I forgot. How far is um, my habit strike right now? I wonder. At some point, once I use it 50 times, I'll eventually learn my arcane skill. go. I, I look now leveled up and learns combo for us. 
Well, I believe if you get a higher combo, your attacks get stronger. Or something along that line. So, if these enemies will do me a favor and stop attacking me, that would be nice. Can't wait till I get a holy bottle. Holy bottles um, scare enemies away. Um, if you go in the desert, most likely, the chances that you will get caught. Ah, well, I'll skip this one. See ya. And, of course, the one battle I skip, we get new skills. Luke actually learned Fangblade, Hav Fangblade Havoc, which means I used Havoc Strike over 50 times. It's Luke's first arcane art, which can be combined with a regular art, so I'm gonna equip it instead of Havoc Strike. Basically, I can use Demon Fist and then immediately follow it up with Fangblade Havoc, so that's pretty nice. I'll start using Rage of Blast to get Fangblade Rage as well. And there I learned Healing Circle. Restore some HP to allies within range. He heals all allies when used outside of battle. Basically, you use it once, and the whole thing is healed. So it's pretty nice, we got it off screen. But we gotta walk to the desert, and most likely you're gonna get into battle once or twice. See ya. There we go, hopefully I'll reach it without getting interrupted, but I'll probably jinx it as, yeah. Ugh. There we go. We might be able to reach it now without getting interrupted anymore. Please, 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 please. Fuck! Alright, let's enter the next area now! There we go. No more battles. What a peaceful... music. Welcome to the Desert Oasis. Which is like a resting point. No enemies, nothing. Answer me! Answer me! Wait, what? Uh, what the hell? Luke, is it those headaches again? Headaches? Ever since he was kidnapped, he'll occasionally get headaches, or sometimes even hear voices. Answer me, you dreck! Who the hell are you? You know who I am. You look just like me. Ash? Ash, where do you think you're going, idiot? Don't blame me if something happens to Ion. Where are you? The Zhao Ruins. Though I doubt Drek like you can make it here. Luke, are you all right? Master, do you feel sick? Hold on, Luke. Hearing imaginary voices again? I doubt that was just my imagination. You said something about Ash. Did you mean that Oracle Knight? The voice I heard was definitely Ash's. He said he was with Ion in the Zhao Ruins. Ion's there? The Zhao Ruins? From 2,000 years ago? Where are they? I'm afraid I don't know. I'd be most grateful if the leader of this mission would find them for us. You really like to be a jerk, don't you? <laughs> oh, it's so, so typical. Not at all. I'm so good-natured and honest, it almost hurts. Colonel, please stop teasing Luke. Luke, let's ask the people here in the Oasis. Right. So we're going to start with... Um... I believe it's this person? No, it's not this person. I believe this person here. It purifies when we drink it, but we don't want 800 gold for a drink. It's basically like an inn. It's certainly refreshing. Blah, blah, blah. Long story short, may Lorelei bless you, and you're fully healed again. Always nice. And we're gonna need that anyway. Now, remember something in the past about the Sour Runes? Someone we need is in here. He's actually over here. It's G. May I help you? Pierce, my name is Guy Cecile. <laughs> you your guy? Oh, I see. I heard the details from Pierre. I understand the situation. This old man sure gets excited. <laughs> yeah, well, and G. Pierre told me you'd teach me something that would be useful for my sword fighting technique. Oh, I see, though, so pass my cane sword art onto you, Guy. That's fast. My apologies, but this transfer of art's done one on one. Could I ask the others to leave? Why? Luke, don't be stubborn. The tire's right, let's go. I'm so glad to see you're saving sounds. We got the hot citizen registry. Which is always nice. So did you learn that arcane art? No, the arcane arts in my fighting style passed down with word of mouth. I won't have it completed until we find the members of the arcane arts council received from them. Looks like next up is Kite Sewer. Correct, the members of the arcane arts council are scattered throughout the world. If you can seek them on a complete fill in that registry I gave you, I believe you eventually will be able to learn that arcane art. Work hard, young one. Your fighting style is a lot of work. Now that I mentioned what style is it anyway? Our sword is a secret sword. We cannot speak of the details to outsiders. Please forgive me. Sorry, look, that's how it is. Right. This arcane card, arcane card, really? This arcane art is actually worth it, so I definitely recommend you do this right now. Our next up is actually 
the Zara runes, but we're gonna stock up on some stuff in Gacedonia first. So, considering I'll probably run into a million of battles, I'll see you at Gacedonia, which is, I believe, we're heading to it right now. It's a red dot at the cross point at the map. You know, I'll see you there because this is gonna take a while. All right, we're in Gacedonia. You took iron to the Zara runes. What the heck are you doing? And it's a spiss, but hey, we're in Gacedonia. Basically, what you want to do is buy new weapons here because now that you got the steel swords, you can actually get some decent upgrades here. You want to have two gothic maces, two steel swords, a scythe, and a steel bow. And equip those all, it will help in the next dungeon. It's generally a good improvement from your previous weapon set, especially for like guy. The guns like a hundred. Scythe, over a hundred. Gothic maze or almost a hundred. Like, this is a really needed improvement, and you can sell all these weapons that you've had in the past if you didn't sell them already. If you want to get defense equipment as well, go ahead, be my guest, but I am not gonna do that, if you don't mind. Because I don't need any defense stuff right now. Believe me, I don't. Now, the last thing I do is I'll drop my stuff at Dint's place. As far as I'm concerned, the place was here. Like, it's a bit... Yeah, we have some items to trade. We have one common item. Is that all? That's all. Well, I only have one item. So, go ahead. Here you go. And... Do I? I don't. No. I guess that's all. Well, that probably wasn't worth the trouble. <laughs> Anywho. I will go on my way to the Zara Runes. The Zara Runes are directly east in front of um, the Desert Oasis, so I'll go to the Desert Runes and I'll meet you right in front of that, because that's where I'll cut things off for this episode. So on to the Desert Oasis, see you there. Alright, it's coming inside, if you look at the world map, we're actually quite directly east of the Desert Runes. This is our next destination. The Desert Runes, really, the Desert Oasis. Speaking of runes, which I was gonna say, these are runes. And to be more precise, welcome to the Zao runes. The Zao runes. God. That's gotta be it. Inside here, huh? It looks dark inside. I'll breathe fire! You're gonna keep breathing fire the whole time? That'll never work. Perhaps it's because of the wind, but there aren't any land ship tracks about. Have they already left, or are they still inside? Whatever the case, there could be clues about Ion, so let's go! That's the spirit, but unfortunately I will let's go in the next episode because I'm not gonna do that right now. Thank you for watching! In the next part, we'll enter and explore, the first part at least, of the Zara Runes, so I'll see you then.